What in the world is this? Oh my god, guys, it's called Evil Corn. What the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, today I am in Redding, California. That's right, California, my friends. And we are going in to check out this Spirit Halloween right here that used to be a Big Lots. And look right up on top above the enormous sign. It's a huge inflatable jack-o'-lantern, and he is mad about something. <laughs> Maybe he's angry because it took me so long to get to California, but I am finally here and we are about to go in and see what Redding, California has to offer at their Spirit Halloween. That used to be a big lot. Let's go. Man, that is an enormous sign, guys. Some of these stores have the smallest, tiniest little signs, and some of them have the biggest signs you've ever seen in your life. 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 In your death. All right, let's go ahead in, guys. Thank you, automatic doors. All right, yes, guys, look at this. So this used to be a Big Lots I mean, the only thing that I see that's like big lotsy is the orange stripe that's going around the top here, but I'll keep an eye out for some other stuff. Meanwhile, let's say hello to our friends here. Okay, so we got Papa Pins. Wow, look at this, guys. I swear he's even taller. You remember the one we saw the other day where he was like scrunched down? He must have been missing like half his legs. This guy here seems like he's really super towering over us here. All right, Papa, do it. Yeah, he is like super tall, man. Okay, let's come on over here to Leatherface. All right, hello, miss. I think it's hilarious how there's just enough room for him in all the stores, and most of them he's rubbing up against one of the tree branches there. That is too funny. All right, through the Spirit Hollow Cemetery. Let's check out the Martian Warrior. All right, Mr. Martian. Ooh, and he does have some fog coming out. You guys tell me, what, what do you call that? It's not really fog, it's just like a spray. I love this guy so much. And I love how like his dome shines so much, it reflects the lights and everything. Whoa, what in the world is this? Have I seen this before? A rhinestone skeleton mask. That's like the new scream mask that is blinged out, but this one's just a skull. Okay, let's not forget about poor George here. Come on, gorgeous George. <laughs> All right, let's leave that guy some stickers right there. Let's come over and say hello to Slim with his Mickey Mouse hands. It seems like he's leaning over even more. Like usually the popcorn bucket or the popcorn bag is like up here, but his popcorn bag is actually pretty low there. And if I'm correct, yes, we have the widow on this side. Let's see what the widow's up to today. Come on now, widow. <laughs> All right, let's journey into the tomb. Here we have this, is it the scary guy? It's the scary sitting scarecrow. All right, let's leave the scarecrow a whole bunch of stickers here. There is a whole ton in there right now, guys. If you come in here and you grab some stickers, don't take them all, leave some for other people so they can get scared by this guy. Hello, Grim. How are you? Fabric of Death. Hello, Dagger Mike. Let's get him going. His daggers are extra shiny today. Wait a minute. Okay, watch this. I knew it! I knew when he jumped up he was gonna hit this thing. He's a little too close. I think I just saw that for the very first time. There was a skeleton who popped out here and laughed at me. I am interested to see if this store in California has anything, like, special in fact, I don't think I've seen this one before, the snow globe from the Haunted Mansion. You guys tell me, oh, maybe I have, because I remember the scrawny dog in there, and he doesn't really do anything except light up. Wait a minute, let's try to turn him upside down here a minute. Maybe you have to turn him upside down. Yeah, there we go, okay. So we have a bunch of spooky bats going in there now. 
Anyways, yeah, I'm curious to see if they have anything in here like special that I haven't seen that maybe they sell in this store just because it's California. Hexpawn, you, what are you doing here? All right, let's see. I thought maybe he wasn't hooked up because we have the Hexpawn box right in front of him and then a fogging skull pile box right in front of him. And I even looked up to see how high the ceiling was because remember in the one video where the ceiling was so low that he'd go up and his horns would stab right through the ceiling. But I see this step pad here, so let's see if this goes to him. Yes. There he goes. We had to watch him jump from the side, but he is working. Oh my gosh, he is super loud, guys. He's got to be one of the most loud hex bonds I've heard in any store yet. All right, you know what? Let's start with the jumping spider here. Here he goes. Hello, sir. <laughs> you know what? Let's do this. Let's leave a couple of stickers for the jumping spider right in there. Be very careful you don't get closed in the door if you reach for him. This guy must be on the sensor because as soon as I walked by, he jumped up and scared the crap out of me. Let's give him a minute to go back down and then we'll get him to jump again. Look, he's just glaring at me with his eye. Okay, there they go. Those eyes stayed lit for so long. Whoa, whoa, there. <laughs> I told you, he's got to be on the sensor. That just scared the crap out of me. And those eyes, he just glared at me for the longest time while he was going back down into shape on top of his pedestal. Of course, we have the Grave Watcher over here making tons of noise like usual. We have Skelly Bones over here. Let's see if he'll work. Come on, Skelly. Are you gonna, I, okay, I hear him. Here he comes. All right. I love how they have Skelly and Desmodus side by side because they're both jump scare props. All right, let's see if he'll do it again. Wait for his eyes to stop. Hold on. Okay. Start moving. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yes. Now, if you're paying attention, you know you see the, the eyes light up first and then he jumps. So you get a little bit of a warning, but not much. All right, let's move on down here to the black heart. Hello, Blackheart. You are now mine for all time. Somebody was trying to tell me something about him in the comments, and I could not decode their comment. Um, so if you were that person, it was a bunch of jumbled mess, leave another comment, and I will try to figure out what the heck you're talking about. Whenever I see Darling Dolly from the back here, and this giant hunched over back, she reminds me of this inflatable that I used to have that was a big hunchback. I'll see if I can't find a picture of that thing, because that is just the strangest looking thing from the back there. All right, let's get our Gordo going here. Come on, Gordo. He's flashing a little bit. Some of these are brighter than others. I know I say that all the time, but there he goes. Gotta love Gordo. And we have the head spinner here. Is she on? I don't think she's on. We'll see in a minute. Maybe she'll jump up. But uh, let's get Darling Dolly going. Come on, Dolly. Come on now, Dolly. She is super loud, too, in this store. And I love how that little branch up there holds onto her hair and like pulls her hair when she jumps. Serves her right and I'm still taking your iPad. Holy crap guys, look how many zombie babies they have here. I don't see any that we haven't seen in other stores, but I love how in this display they have the angels, one at each side on the top, watching over them. They got Leatherface, Sam, and Ghostface Tiny Terrors. Let's see if they have Glenn over here. I do see Annabelle's Annabelle. I see Annabelle. I see Sitting Sam dolls. I don't even see Chucky's, and they do not have any Glens either. Those are getting harder to come by, guys, so if you find one and you want it, you better grab it up when you see it. We do have Leatherface, Sam, and the Ghostface Sam sidestepper but not Chucky. All right I haven't spent a lot of time looking at the Ouija stuff. I'm not a big Ouija person but this is pretty cool. A Ouija fleece blanket. We have the Ouija mystifying oracle planchette right here and this is a pretty sweet mug. Look at this. It has the design on the outside but it's actually clear so when you fill this up with a drink you can see it through the mug. We 
have the Ouija skulls here with their top comes off and you can put stuff inside. The Ouija candles and on the bottom we have the actual Ouija boards. No thank you. I love how they have a whole bunch of these Halloween H2O Michael Myers string lights. These are awesome. That's one of my favorite movies of the whole series. Okay, let's go ahead and take a walk around because somebody was telling me they want to see stuff that is not from the movies. I show a lot of stuff from the movies and I tend to show like a lot of stuff that we've seen over and over. But it's just all so cool. I can't help looking at it like all these inflatables. We're starting to see Jumbo show up in more stores. They have the snake, they have the hearse, the archways, the triple killer clowns inflatable, the ghost face inflatables, and the Pennywise. That guy is huge. Okay, let's come back here and look at just some normal masks here that are not from the movies. We have this bunny mask. What is this called? L Wire, what the heck, Bad Bunny mask. I know there's a singer named Bad Bunny, but I don't think that has anything to do with it. I do like these wire masks. These are the one where these wires actually light up. If you can see that, it's kind of flashing green. This one is flashing blue, but it's so light in here, you probably can't see it very well. Ooh, here's one back here, the Phantom mask. Have I seen this one before? I don't think that almost looks like a hot rod car with pinstripes on it. All right, let's push the button. Oh, it's got the uh, the tab on there. I'm not going to pull that. But look at this, guys. They have the Halloween 3 Season of the Witch mask here. Right after I said I wasn't going to look at any movie masks. What in the world is this? Oh my God, guys, it's called Evil Corn. What the heck is this? <laughs> That's got to be my favorite mask in the world. It's a giant corn cob with the evil face on it. Holy crap. Talk about children of the corn. Glorious, glorious, glorious. That's got to be my favorite mask I have ever seen in this store. The evil corn mask. Look, it's even covered with corn husks. How gross. What in the world? Look at this. This is a lab rat mask. I've never seen this one either. Okay, that is super creepy right there. Look at that disgusting thing. Oh my gosh. The lab rat mask. Look at the disgusting hair all over it. <laughs> I guess I have been missing a lot in not looking at the masks that are not from movies. Look at this, a starving vampire. Guys, have I literally just been missing all these masks have they like been right there in front of me and i just haven't seen them that kind of looks like nosferatu is that how you say it all right let's whoa <laughs> this is coming home with me today guys holy crap this is one of my very favorite episodes of the goosebumps series Oh my gosh, I cannot believe they have this right now. I don't see a date on this tag unless I'm just overlooking it. So I don't know if this is like an older mask, but it is an awesome one. I am buying this right here, right now today. Thank you, Redding, California. Holy crap, that is cool. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you, whoever told me to look at these masks, thank you so much. That was such a good idea. We are finding some awesomeness in here and I cannot get over the evil corn right there. That is too hilarious. All right, let's keep looking here. All right, this one is really cool. I'm pretty sure I saw this before, the chrome smile mask. That reminds me of a mix between the aliens and the Terminator. Um, we do have the creeper down here. I believe this might be a new one for this year, at least in Spirit Halloween. Look at that disgusting hair on the back. Hair just disgusts me. It's disgusting. Like, literally, if he was ever coming after me, I'd be like, Sir, if you could please cut your hair first, then you can eat me. We got the penguin down here from Batman Returns. He's got disgusting hair, too. <laughs> All right, let's keep on looking here. I'm not sure if I've seen this guy before. I don't think so. The double vision clown mask. He has blue and red hair. That's pretty cool. The ghostly ghoul mask. I don't know if I've seen that one either. Here's one on the top called the half bot mask, which is sort of like a Terminator thing. I do see the evil Barfamet staring up at me from down there on the ground. Look at this. We have the evil witch eyes here. That's hilarious. He's got disgusting hair too. What is it with disgusting hair? Excuse me, sir. You have disgusting hair and you have disgusting hair in your face. All right, let's see. Are there any other ones here? that I have not seen. I don't think so, but here's the ice scream clown. <laughs> 
Have I seen this one? Look at this. He's got a cone on his head. It's melting down into his face. Wow, that was pretty cool, guys. I think that's it for all the masks that I haven't seen yet, but I'm definitely going to have to spend more time looking at them in each of the stores. And I am 100% buying this today. All right, let's take just a minute here to look at the weapons, because that's another thing that we don't spend a lot of time looking at. Look at this. We have giant scissors here. We have a sledgehammer, a crowbar. We have the evil cup that someone left there. <laughs> Don't be a scumbag. Don't leave your evil cup. And I sincerely apologize if it was a manager who was doing some work back here and put his cup there and then totally forgot to pick it up. Anyways, I don't even know what you call these things, but these look like they could kill very easily. Medical tools, I would never want to be killed with something like that. Look at this giant corkscrew here. This looks like something from I Know What You Did Last Summer. We got a meat tenderizer. Somebody's gonna get beat to death with a meat tenderizer. We got the blade here. We got an enormous, I don't even know what you'd call this kind of blade right here. We got the plumber's wrench. We have this light up dagger here. Try me, okay. Um, it must still have the thing in there. We got the buzz saw here. The Wicked King Scepter, which looks pretty cool. I guess that would be a weapon. You could stab somebody with it. I'm not condoning stabbing or slicing or killing. I'm just saying you could do it with these. You could also do it with this ginormous sword. They got all these guys, but we're going to stick to some of the other things that we haven't been looking at much lately, like the scary flying ghost and the dropping spider. He's pretty cool. You hang him from the ceiling. I think he's motion activated and he drops on you. Then there's the fly around bat that you also hang from the ceiling and it just flies around in a circle. Oh, then there's these awesome neat guy stickers, which if you come in here, you'll find them and you get to keep them. The 12 inch tabletop candelabra, which is pretty dang awesome. The 55 inch floor candelabra and the new animatronic gargoyle activation switches. Those are pretty cool right there. And let's not forget about the bad breath and the ham hock for sale. Or the heart of death or the chains of death. Guys, look at this. Here is yet another thing I don't think I've seen in any store. Hold on, let me get it out of here. Whoa, this just went off when I stepped over here. All right, hold on. It's electrifying my face. Okay, back to the four-piece doll head pathway markers. Excuse me, sir, we already talked to you. You already electrified my face. We'll come back to you later. Okay, let's see if we can get these going. Oh, I don't hear any sounds, but the eyes light up green. Okay, those are cool. And this is another thing that's starting to show up in stores down here. The Jabber and Jack singing pumpkins. This is what I thought of as soon as I saw those pathway markers, the crackhead pathway markers. <laughs> I do think I need to point out that they have these in case you're looking for them, as well as all of these. The Hello Rat, the Creeping Cats, the Secret Keeping Cats, Carrot, and Scabs. They have them all. And let's leave some stickers in the cauldron. All right, let's take one more walk through the rest of the store here because I heard heard through the grapevine that they have something in here that is pretty dang cool and I haven't seen it yet but I also haven't seen this awesome Mars Attacks Invaders doormat that is pretty cool wait let's look on the other side and see if they have the ghost face doormat no I do not see it I know it exists because I've seen it in other stores. But if I can get it, they do have this awesome Ghoulies 2 throw blanket. I'm not going to read it. You can read it for yourself. If you get it, you get it. Have we seen all these new little backpacks? I think we have. These are one of my favorite new things this year, guys. They are so cool. I especially love the Michael Myers one. I think the Scream looks totally awesome. So does the Sam. I love the colors on that one. And I don't know if we've looked at the SpongeBob or not yet, but that is awesome too. I love SpongeBob. Will we be getting business cards? All right, let's make our way over here for a minute. Where is it there's something special in this store guys that i was told is in here but i haven't seen it just yet holy crap guys i see it it's right in front of my face the thing we've all been waiting for the thing i've been looking around the entire store for and that i heard a secret was actually in here look right behind me right there believe it or not they 
have heckles. Look at this, guys. I was not sure we were actually going to be able to get heckles this season because they pulled him because the faces were all messed up for some reason. But then I noticed they started sending out new faces, and now heckles is starting to show up in stores, and I am officially buying heckles today. Look at this. He is so hilarious. Just the way he looks from head to toe. I love his balloons, 10 cents sign. I love his face there and everything that he says. And I love how he has the balloon that also has a face that talks. That is like my favorite feature of the whole thing. This is going to have to be the last animatronic that I buy. Oh man, until I get back at least closer to home because I have no more room. I've been buying animatronics and props and all kinds of awesome stuff. So I am so glad that I found him today. Okay guys, one last look around the store here as I try my best to knock this down. One last look around the store here because it is an awesome looking store. It is totally packed with all kinds of awesome stuff. Come on down here to Redding, California. Get you some awesome Halloweeniness and some stickers because I put them all around the store and I'm gonna leave a whole bunch up here at the desk with these guys. Mm -hmm.